Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly color grade using Magic Smoothie Edit Pro film look function. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got these two video clips and an audio clip. Let's just open up Magic Smoothie Edit Pro. I've just got a blank project here, right? It's just an empty project. I'm just going to drag the Africa clip into here. So we've got this scene where we're flying over Africa. You can see it's quite monotone. It's not really that vibrant, right? There's a few different ways that you can change and color grade in Magic Smooth Edit Pro. You could go into the effects options here and then click on something like color, uh, click on the clip itself. And you can start to play around with the colors. Maybe you add a bit more vibrancy. You can change the colors in here, right? You can change the saturation as well. Maybe make it a bit more brighter and then you can get this sort of effect more, um, sort of more vibrancy in the image. You click here to remove that particular effect. You can go to brightness and color correction and chroma key, well not chroma key, but these three here are really for, um, or these ones here, are really for uh, manipulating the image in terms of its colors, right? But there's an easier way to do this. It depends on if you want to spend a lot of time and energy, and it depends on where you're placing your content, right? So if we go over to templates and scroll down, this is something that I use quite often. It's called Film Look Basic. So when I click on that, I get all of these different options. These are like color grade options, right? Pre-made ones. So for example, this one here, the first one, 16 millimeter film. This one's quite dramatic. So when we drag and drop it onto here and we click play, we'll kind of get this, all these artifacts and these lines and this sort of grainy sort of style uh, image. So sometimes you see that sort of effect applied to videos. If you want to do something like quite vintage, quite old school, then that's a nice little drag and drop and you're kind of done. Now remember, if I stop this and press Control Z, that's really like modern day video footage, right? Press Control Y to redo and you kind of get this effect applied over the top. So you can go and shoot with your phone, your camera, get some really nice high quality video and then drag and drop this and it will look a little old school that sort of old type video footage. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. Let's have a look at a few of these other ones. Black and white I like quite as well. So if you drag and drop that, obviously it says what it does. It's just nice and black and white. And that can kind of add some nice effects to your content. So if this was a little intro to your video, maybe having it black and white and a nice little color sort of introduction, introduction text, that might kind of, kind of work quite nice as well. And it will tell you across the top here what sort of color correction has been applied right so i'll press ctrl z to undo that one so just ctrl z and ctrl y to undo and redo so you've got some nice other ones in here this one here bleached out three this is kind of like um if you ever watch the matrix films if you go and re-watch the matrix films you'll see there's like this green tone in a lot of the scenes a lot of the scenes have this sort of green overlay tone to them uh, not maybe not as dramatic as this right here, but you kind of get that sort of green tone using this particular effect. There's some other ones that I really like in here. Clean is pretty good. When you drag and drop this one, it just adds much more vibrancy to the picture so or the video clip. So if I press Ctrl Z and if you watch this screen here, that's what it used to look like. Press Ctrl Y and you see the whole content just pops out a little bit more. You can see a lot more detail in the in the scene as well. Um, you know, everything just looks a bit more vibrant. So that's one that I like to use. Clean is pretty good. Fresh is good as well. So let's drag and drop that one. This one's called Fresh, and then that just adds a lot more pop and color to the to the video content. So this looks. Uh, let's just undo that. You can see this is quite flat toned at the moment. Um, and then we press Control Y so we can add that particular filter and now you can see there's much more vibrancy in the scene and let's just try a couple more before we finish off so you've got this sort of um, these ones here where they add these sort of uh, sort of fades around the edge so if we click play you can kind of see it sort of flickering and you've got this sort of effect right uh, it's up to you, you know it's optional all of these things in here for you to test and experiment with let's try this one here as well see what that one does it's, it's a lot less dramatic right uh, in terms of having that fade around the edge let's press ctrl z if we press ctrl y it kind of has this little fade around the edges here you can see it's kind of like midpoint uh, in terms of the content you've got warm here warm is quite nice as well that will just add some vibrancy uh, to the content and you can see how these drag and drop color correction what they call them film tool basics these color corrections are quite nice and easy to use 
uh, and you you know you don't need a lot of experience to use them literally drag and drop and you'll get that sort of styling effect you've got these cinema ones as well sometimes those look quite nice um, depending on what type of content you're creating so this tool is called um, it's in the templates and it's called film tools basic I use that quite often if I'm doing video content if I'm just making video tutorials it's not really necessary um, like in this particular video tutorial but if I'm out filming maybe on holiday or something like that and I want to create a video of after that holiday then this is kind of a nice way to just quickly color correct things and get some nice video sequences working together okay so let's go ahead and minimize this I don't think there's much else to show with that particular function that's the quick film look uh, color correction tool in Magic's Movie Edit Pro I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial